hey what's up guys today in this lecture we're gonna learn about how you can change or edit the text of any kind of document in photoshop as you can see i have already done some work to show you guys how i did it this is the sample document image that i'm using and now i'm gonna change this text over here to something else so first of all i'm gonna remove it using clone stamp tool so create the blank layer on top of it so we can remove this text separately and if we make any kind of mistake we can go back easily and at the top we can see opacity and flow right now i'm using 100 opacity and flow about 56 and also try to zoom in so you can see easily and make sure to sample the nearby area while painting on the text so you can make similar background you don't have to worry about the realism so as you can see i'm right now sampling the nearby area and painting over our text and it's just perfectly removing the text look this is look look one is completely removed now i'm gonna sample nearby the nine and paint over it i'm gonna speed up the process so you guys don't get bored while watching me doing this Also make sure current and blow is selected which means it select current and it's blow the layers are working. So if you select all layers it select all doesn't matter if they are above or below. So right now we are working with current and blow which means the blow is our document and above is our current which are we are working on to remove the text. As you can see it's perfectly removed and the background looks so good and it seems pretty like realistic. Now I'm gonna add the text using text tool in Photoshop so make sure guys uh, the font that you are using is similar to the document font uh, either you can just eyeball it just you can type and then eyeball the font which looks good for your document or you can just find using uh, photo image scanning and they will tell you how uh, what is the font and you can watch the tutorial on YouTube how to find the font using your image. And for this document, I'm using this font named WF at the end. I don't know what is that exactly. So I'm just randomly putting some text on this. And 
and I just type 2023 now I'm gonna change the color of this text first of all select color tool and make sure the sample size is 5 by 5 so it doesn't select the point sample color and rather than it will average 5 by 5 pixel color so now I'm gonna change the text in uh, sorry color but if you like zoom in on our text you can see there is no texture on it but the document text has texture so we're gonna manually add texture on our text so to do this make the duplicate of it and uh, right click and make convert it to into smart object and then go to filter noise and add noise and uh, here you can just play with the amount and see which looks better so i'm gonna just decrease it first and increase little by little and check the gaian if it looks good also make sure it's monochromatic which means it's only choose two colors in noise it's black and white so i think this value is good now i'm gonna add it and also you can see the texture is too contrasty so i'm gonna add gaussian blur on top of it so it's become similar to the texture of the document also i'm gonna add levels to make it little bit contrasty now i think it's good also you can add more like noise in it i'm gonna use this time dust and scratch maybe it's make something better in results So I'm, I'm randomly playing with these values. So yeah. It's not that much difference. As you can see. It's not that much different. But it's still okay to add that. And uh, at the end. Uh. I'm gonna make a little bit this text embedded to the document to do this we're gonna use blending options so for this double click on the layer and go to blending option and now I'm gonna use bevel emboss for this and you can see the edges is too too wide so first of all I'm gonna play with the values make the style from inner bevels to outer bevels and playing with depth so go with the values which seems good for you so these are the values i'm going with and also i'm playing with the angles of the shadings let's add some inner shadow just try to move it around little bit so you can see maybe it's make some betterment in the results so yeah this is the final results maybe you liked it and this is for me it's good 
I tried my best to add realism to the text that I have changed. So maybe you guys also liked it. So if you did, make sure to like the video, leave the comment if you have any problem and share it guys. Bye bye. I love you so much.